Hey everybody, welcome back. Today is a special summer collaboration. So, my friend Debbie, I will link her channel below. She's hosting and I thought it'd be fun to participate and I've been craving the sale since the weather got warmer, so it's time. We are gonna throw together some easy broccoli salad. Um, I already had some ingredients kind of chopped and ready from like meal prepping and veggie prepping and such. So this is going to be like a super fast, super easy dump together uh, salad and uh, it tastes delicious. It's a big favorite to bring to like potlucks and barbecues and things like that. So I thought I'd share with you because I'm excited to eat this. So we're going to make it now and it's got to sit in the fridge for a couple hours because that's just, it gets better with time. That's the hardest part, waiting for the maybe hour or two to go by before I dive in. So let's jump in. You'll need a few simple ingredients and you can kind of make this more extensive or less extensive based on your tastes and flavors and what you have on hand. So let's get rolling. All right, in my refrigerator, I'm starting with the veggie prep. I already had some of these onions cut up. I already had some yellow peppers cut up. So I'm gonna do is finish cutting these up and making them more bite-sized pieces so they're not the recipe actually doesn't call for peppers but I have them and they need to be used up so that's what's happening we're gonna use them we like them so these don't have to be perfect bite size you know roughly the same size I also shredded up I have a larger size brick of gouda cheese you can obviously use whatever cheese you like, but we do like that. And I had it, so that's what we're using. So I'm just kind of getting those off to the side. These are all going to get added into the bowl eventually, but for some reason, I'm just putting them over there for now to get them out of the way. So showed you the peppers. These onions we had sliced for a different meal, so I'm just going to kind of go in, chop them a little bit, maybe throw my bowl over the edge. <laughs> we're not careful just to make these a little smaller. They don't even need to be too small because you want to be able to taste it. We love red onion in this salad especially. So, you know, do your best or do your worst. As long as they're smaller, you're getting somewhere, right? <laughs> That's how I look at it. This is the most work is just chopping up these veggies. That's really the brunt of this task. All right, I think I will start putting them into my bowl because the broccoli will take the most amount of room on the cutting board, of course, because it's a little bit bigger. So go ahead and pull that in. And now, like with this, you don't have to measure exactly. I don't, I just go with how I feel. The yellow pepper and like a cup, maybe a little more than a cup of shredded cheese. Slide that out of our way. Now I like to buy this big bag of broccoli florets from Costco. They roast up really nice and they're perfect for this recipe. So some of them I am going to trim. Sometimes they have little leaves in there. Not a big deal. But we like these nice and bite-sized so I don't want too huge of pieces because you know you want it to be enjoyable. So you're going to need about three to four cups of chopped broccoli and I like them you know nice and small not too big not too small so that's what we're gonna work on next we're gonna just keep chopping and fill our bowl up here with pretty well with broccoli just the ones that need to be shortened up a little and then some of the extra stalks I trim and I set them aside because our hound dog Opie loves broccoli so he will get the broccoli stems or any pieces that are left he will get and he'll be so happy for her. okay hope i did toss a leaf in there get that out of there all right we'll be back as soon as i get done with all these broccoli chopping all right let's jump back in we got a bowl of broccoli all of our other toppings are underneath the broccoli okay now you're gonna need a sprinkling of bacon bits. You can fry up your own fresh bacon if you'd like, or you can do it like I am and use Costco and skip a step. And you can use as little or as much as you'd like, of course. 
then we're gonna go ahead and add a half a cup or so of craisins. You can use raisins too, but um, I prefer craisins. Yum, dump them all in. Then one of my favorite ingredients is the little salty sunflower seeds. We buy these, um, well, we got these at Sendix grocery store. It's only $2 for this big old tub. It's like a half pound. Um, you could measure, I'm just gonna, this is a quarter cup, heaping quarter cup. If you like those, maybe I'll do a little bit more. Love those. Okay. Now, we only have three ingredients left in this super simple tasty recipe. We are going to need one cup of mayo and I'm going to use this organic Hellman's. Hellman's is the brand we like. Organic for my allergies. Use whatever mayo you like, of course. Now you could measure or you can just eyeball it like I'm going to do. I've been cooking for a long time so it's a little bit easier to guess about a cup and then based on what's left in your jar also. Okay. One cup of mayo. Just closed them out of our way. We're gonna need two tablespoons of distilled white vinegar. This one a little closer, a little splashy splash. One, two. Okay. Then a very last ingredient. It sounds a little crazy, but it does work its magic. We are gonna add just a quarter, it says a quarter cup of sugar, but I might do like a uh, half of that because I don't like it overly sweet. But go ahead, get yourself some sugar. Yeah, like this is the quarter cup, but I didn't fill it, you know, I don't know. I might add more sugar later, but I don't want it too crazy sweet. Nice, that's how easy this salad is. Now, get this out of our way. Use the big boy spoon to mix it up here. Probably, let me know if you do this, like always. Why did I use a bigger bowl? <laughs> this one seemed like it'd be fine. A bigger bowl would be better. Or one with like a lid on it so you could just kind of shake it. That'd be good too. So if you need to add any mayo or any other liquids for your dressing, go ahead. I said I don't measure, I'm just kind of winging it because I've made this quite a few times and, you know, it's preference based. Okay, so once we get this all mixed up, all we're going to do is put a top on it and we're going to toss this into the fridge for a couple hours before we dive in. It helps the vinegar and the mayo and the sugar and all that stuff kind of work together and ooh, soften up these veggies and get the flavor into the veggies. So, I might add just a tiny bit more mayo, but otherwise, that is perfect. Beautiful, colorful, and will taste super delicious. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me, and I look forward to checking out the other videos in the summer collaboration, because it's the time. It's the best food. I'm excited. Anyway, have a great day. I hope you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. See what other kind of crazy shenanigans I get into. You just never know with me.